on. Um, I'm going to do something a little different today, or right now. I mean, I've already done two other videos today, but anyways. Um, I'm going to teach a ukulele song. Um, the song I'm going to teach is by the Beatles. It's called Something, and it sounds like this. Like, that's the little intro. Anyway, I'm not going to teach it on this, even though that's what most of you probably have. But I'm going to teach it on this because it's deeper and it's easier for me to sing with if I'm singing. And it's a lot easier for me to show you how to play because it's a lot bigger and I can actually show you where I'm fingering. Because with this I've got gigantic fingers and you can't see a dang thing. So, uh, okay, so I'll go ahead and start for you. You're going to, um, also, hold on, one more thing, I'm sorry. For those of you who don't have ukuleles, um, and you just want to play this stuff on guitar, you want to put it, the capo, on the fifth fret, I do believe, but you're not going to be using the top two strings, it's just the, like, pretend when I'm showing you this stuff, pretend like the top two are not there, and it sounds the same. And the only downside is you can't strum the whole thing unless you somehow mute these two like up here somewhere like put a piece of tape on them or something I don't know anyway so anyone can play this if you're watching the video and you have a guitar so anyway but I'm gonna show you on the ukulele because that's how it's played anyway uh, this isn't the way if you've seen online um, in the concert for George that Paul McCartney plays it but it's good enough so you want to start in the F for ukuleles, which is your uh, second finger on the second fret of the first string, or fourth string actually. And then on the second string, you want to put your first finger, first fret. So what you're doing is, you're going to strum like this. Down, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, sorry. Anyway, but you're hammering on the first, your pinky on the third fret of the first string. And then you're going to move to this chord, which is like, you put your last two fingers on the third and second string, and your first finger on the first string, but these two are on the third fret. The G for the ukulele or a D for a guitar. So you should know the G by now or a D for the guitar. And then the C, which is just your first finger or whatever finger you want on the third fret of the first string. So play it all together. Now, what you're going to want to do is go like I strum basically with the words as if I was singing. So something in she moves, tracks me like no other lover. So what you want to do is, um, you just, you're just going down one fret. So something in the way she moves, down one fret, the tracks down another fret, like no other. Go to the F, you go. You then, you release that first finger, so. And then you go, what you're doing is you're barring on the second fret the entire, all the strings. And you want to hit with your pinky up here on the one, two, three, four, five, fifth, the fifth fret, or yes, the fifth fret. And use your middle finger on the fret up from your bar on the first. Something in the way she woos me. Go to a G. I forget this what this calls like an A something. Just your this finger or this finger, whatever, on the second fret of the top string or fourth string. Open. You know I believe in him. You're just barring on the second fret and putting your middle finger on the first string, third fret. The little riff. 
chorus, you're hitting an A, which is the fourth string, second fret, and the third string, first fret. You're asking me. You go to the bar the whole fourth fret. Well, my love grows. What you're doing here is you want to hit these two, uh, the fourth and second strings on the second fret, and you want to put your first finger on the third string first fret. And drop this, I don't know, which is a D, but you want to do this weird thing where you bend your finger, because you are still got your first string going, but you're barring all three of these. But that time you go to the C. Something in the way she moved. It's all, that's all it is. I mean, you can always go back if you didn't quite get the verse or the chorus, but that's the whole song. I mean, it's pretty easy. And I mean, there's no solo or anything, but if you have a friend that's cool enough, you can have the solo in there with a guitar or whatever you want. But anyway, this I'll just play it through real quick so you don't have to get all close. But I'll just play it through real quick on the little one. Sorry if I mess up because I'm used to playing on this because um, I got my fiance bought me this for um, our anniversary for dating. Anyway, so my fingers can fit better because we both have one of these little ones. But anyway, so I'll play it through so if you have one like this, you know what it sounds like. When you're ending it off, you want to go, you want to do the little riff twice. So you go. You go to the A. And you end it off on the C. So anyway, have lots of fun with that because I know I did when I first started learning. This is like the first song besides nothing that I learned on the ukulele. So. And also, don't forget, you can play it on a guitar if you want, so, but it's a little weird. Anyway, so have fun with that.